Hello team, is yoga good for fat loss? <laughs> Let's find out. Hello team, how are you doing? Gavin here from Growing Younger. And today's video is exactly that. Is yoga good for losing body fat? So I'm going to give you some examples, real examples, and I'm going to let you make that decision, okay? I got my thoughts and my opinions, and it's entirely up to you what you believe as well. But in the context of weight loss, I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this for 14 years. I've lost over 20 kilos and kept that off for 14 years. I've also helped people over the age of 40 who are overweight, struggling with health health related issues like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, thyroidism, all the good stuff. Uh, currently co-own New Zealand's only fitness studio for people over 40. So pretty damn good at helping people lose weight. And we also have a yoga class as part of what we do. But does yoga burn body fat or help you lose weight is really good topic because I get asked this question a lot of times. So I'm going to uh, quickly talk about like set the scene around calories. It is always calories in, calories out. You must be in a calorie deficit for you to lose weight. And if you're not in a calorie deficit, you will not lose body fat. Okay, It is quite as simple as that. So there's a couple of forms of yoga. I'm not going to possibly go into all of them, but one of them two really that stand out is Bikram yoga. So Bikram yoga is a 90 minute session based on about 26 exercises, okay, um, in about 105 Fahrenheit, I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. Um, and it's a very challenging form of yoga, to be perfectly honest with you, right, if, especially in a, in a hot environment. So when you look at that in particular, you might think because you're sweating a lot, then obviously you're going to be burning lots of calories. And that's simply not true. So a study in 2014 from Colorado State University found that on average, men burned about 460 calories and women burned about 330 calories per session. Each session is about 90 minutes. Now, we don't know how much they weighed, how tall they were, how much body fat, how much muscle. We don't know that, but it was a very, very average, right? But and then when you look at normal yoga, normal yoga is estimated to be an 80 kilogram person of about five foot six. I'm using like a kind of female sort of sizes will burn 183 calories in a 60 minute um, yoga session. And it isn't that much for a whole hour, right? 183 calories. And really it's a sedentary kind of activity. You're sitting down, you're in these like stress positions like that crane at the beginning, but you're not moving. To burn calories, you need to move. Just sitting in one place, tensing your muscles doesn't burn a huge amount of calories, right? So the way I look at, is it good for fat loss and fat burning is how much, like I got, how much time can I put in and how many, how much can I get out of that time? So if I put 90 minutes of time into something, I'd like to be able to have a big return on calorie burn. Therefore, for example, if I go for a one hour jog, I can burn nearly 800 to 1000 calories depending on what I'm doing. And if I was to do yoga, I'd only burn a couple of hundred, right? So for me, in my time investment, I think I'd rather go for that run because I can get done faster. I can burn way more calories. And by burning more calories, it gives me an option to have a little bit more to eat if I wanted to. Do you know what I mean? So there's like a sliding scale that I have on this one. So time and obviously effort. My time and effort for yoga, I believe, is, is a little bit lower, right? So... If you were then to swap that out and go, well, if I was a heavier person, if I was 100 kilos and I was five foot six, how much calories would I burn doing yoga? Well, it would actually be more around about the 500 calorie mark, okay? Um, still not a huge amount. So it just means the bigger you are, the more calories you burn off. And, and that's true for any activity that we do. So in terms of yoga, it is not a fantastic exercise for burning off tons of calories, all right? It's just not. And I, th I believe that if you're busy and you're starting off and you're trying to lose weight, then I think it's more pertinent to put your time and effort into activities that are easy to do and we give you a big result. Walking, biking, swimming, you know, all those things, just being more active, doing 10,000 steps a day, all those things are easier to do and it'll give you more bang for your buck, all right? But yoga is not a terrible thing. It's like it actually has tons of benefits for it that are not weight loss and i think sometimes when we look at exercise and activity we got to look past weight loss because realistically even if you did that walk and burn 500 calories off when you go and slam some nuts down on a couple of glasses of wine then those calories you've eaten back in a heartbeat right so you got to be looking at your nutrition first and foremost when he's coming to lose weight and if your calories are on point you can do yoga as the, the, the thing that you love to do and still lose weight depending on your calories are adjusted okay so that's that's just important to know that but what other benefits do yoga have? Well, it's fantastic. Improved flexibility and strength and range of movement. Who doesn't want that? It's a low impact on your joints, low impact on your body. 
Um, and it, it's a great form of exercise. And, and I, I encourage people to try it if they wanted to. Enhance the strength and muscle tone. Of course, if you're sitting in a in a, a static position like that crane holding on, okay, you've got lots of muscles moving to stabilize you, improves your balance. Fantastic. It can improve your posture, improve your body alignment, increase mindfulness. And when you sat in these hard positions and it's burning and you don't want to do it, then it's, it's kind of training your mind to be more focused, to be more durable. So when it comes to actual other exercise and dieting, there's a bit of a, a crossover for that. You know, it's proven to help uh, reduce stress, help you relax, um, boost your energy levels, enhance focus and concentration. It's a whole raft of, of things about yoga that which absolutely beneficial and you should actually be, maybe incorporate it into your into your lifestyle but when you look at like i said burning fat burning calories it is not a great calorie burner it just isn't because think of it you're basically sitting in one position for 90 minutes or an hour it's not much moving you only burn calories through movement not through sitting down okay really important to know so that is kind of my take on is yoga good for fat loss you got the numbers you can decide whether or not uh, it's, it's the same for you. But what I will say is I'll, after losing 20 kilos and trying all that, all the different diets and the yogas and the exercises, I have found simple to be the best. Weight train, do some cardio, eat in a calorie deficit, and you're going to lose all the weight you're ever going to use. So that's it for me. If you like the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate your feedback. And I will see you on the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.